Last week, the mayor invited city officials to appear on her WCAC show to talk about flooding precautions while some residents should be taken as the rain comes and the snow begins to melt. In March 2010, heavy rains caused flood damage in thousands of Waltham homes. The city's engineer Stephen Casaza said that the city is planning projects to prevent sewer overflows in certain areas. This summer we'll be digging up Taunton Pond Road and replacing the sewer pipe with a larger pipe to keep the sewer within its boundaries. Um, also at Lake and Lexington Street, we have done extensive investigations in those neighborhoods to find where the extraneous water is coming from. Um, it could be from sump pumps, it could be from leaking pipes. As the mayor had said, the infrastructure has been built over many years. Uh, there will be a project uh, starting up on Lexington Street uh, between the YMCA and Lake Street, again, to increase the capacity of the pipe and further studies up into the neighborhoods to improve that situation. One of the things that um, we're proposing to do this spring, anticipating flooding and, and snow melt, is to um, undertake a maintenance project uh, with input from CPW to uh, re repair collapsed pipes, and do basic uh, cleaning of the streams and waterways where uh, tree limbs and, and what have you, vegetation clog the uh, inlets to the pipes. Mayor McCarthy also announced that local politicians secured match funds last week to research the Beaver Brook, a state-owned waterway that overflows during heavy rains, causing flooding in the Linden Street area. You know, this is a bigger problem because you have the huge Beaverbrook Reservation, which is a state reservation. You know, the, the water's traveling down and it ends up where they all merge down at Linden Street. So I'm happy to announce that the state threw a match last week, um, supported by um, Representative Cartusian, Representative Stanley, and Senator Fargo, and the DCR. Um, Commissioner Sullivan at that time is now the Secretary Sullivan, was able to give us the match. So the DCR engineers are gonna study not just study, they're going to get the data to update the data to say this is where it is so that the state and the city can all agree on what the plan is to fix it 